Welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at most of the external features on these Eisenbach Trophy D 8x42 ED binoculars. Please note that this video is designed to be viewed in conjunction with the full review, the link to which you can find either on this video or take a look at the comment section below. The soft rubber or plastic objective lens covers that you get with these Eisenbachs uh, fit very, very well to the ends of the, the actual barrels themselves, so they shouldn't have come, to, come away too easily. However, I will say that um, because of the, the actual uh, barrels of the binocular are not um, circular, rather have this sort of eye shape to them, um, it has meant that the, the cover itself has also been, um, have to be shaped in this, you know, to match the same shape. This does mean that replacing them um, is a little bit more tricky than, than had they been just fully circular, where you don't have to actually think about your exact placement on the ends of the barrels. You know, this is a small detail, but you know, something that, you know, when you're out in the field, um, can make you know can make a little difference to the time it takes to just replace them every time. Another point to um, thing to just point out is unlike many binoculars that have a you know a separate loop so that the the, the cover actually um, remains attached to the binocular and they just hang down below and um, whilst you're glassing, these um, um, don't have this and and the only way to you know keep them you know on your person would be to thread your your neck strap through the sides of the the actual cover itself. Guard uh, looks really nice um, on these Eisenbach binoculars. Um, it, once again, um, like the objective lens covers, they, they fit really nicely to the eye cup themselves, so it won't come away too easily. Uh, take them off over here so you can see. And one thing I do like is they have a, a flexible bridge in between the two cups, uh, meaning that you can replace them onto the eye cups no matter what your IPD setting is. So, so should you have your binoculars like that, you can put them back on without any, any problems at all. Uh, you know, some binoculars, this, this part over here is, is not flexible, and so you have to store your binoculars in the, you know, the fully open position every single time. Quick point to mention about these Eisenbachs, and something that I really like, is the fact that their objective lenses are set really deeply back from when, within the ends of the barrels. You know, this um, overhang over here will obviously protect these lenses from physical damage, so, you know, less chance of scratching them, you know, especially when you put your binoculars down like that. There's, you know, if there was something on this table, you know, if, if, the, if the lenses are quite close to the edge of the barrels, they can, they can get scratched or damaged. Um, and then also, you know, whilst you're, you're out in the field, uh, you know, in light rain, um, it will protect the lenses from, from rain falling on the actual glass or, or mist, um, as well as even things like dust in, in dry areas. Um, so uh, um, the other, uh, feature of this sort of overhang is it sort of acts like a you know a hood on a, a camera for you know like professional photographers use um, and helps prevent lens flaring and, and things like that in certain light con conditions. These Eisenbachs come with twist up eye cups um, as you can see they have a, a two phase mechanism in that um, there's a, a, a midpoint over here where where the eye cup clicks into um, as well as um, fully extended and fully retracted. This midpoint just gives you a little bit more flexibility in getting the, the amount of eye relief perfect, you know, depending on, on your exact needs. So should you be wearing glasses um, or, the, you know, just the actual shape of your face, just so that you can ensure that you see the full field of view. A uh, point to mention about these eye cups as well is, you know, they're nice and secure. Uh, you know, there's no free movement, you know, and so they, they look to be really well made as, as well as the actual eye cup housing itself. Um, it, to me, it looks to be metallic, you know, and not plastic like you see on many cheaper optics out there. Um, the, these, this definitely means, uh, you know, it's an important feature to look out for in that um, this is one of the most common areas on a binocular that gets damaged when you, when you drop them and things like that. So to have a, you know, a really well-made um, eye cup housing as well as eye cups um, is an, an important feature of any quality binocular. I really like the focus wheel on these Eisenbachs. Uh, it looks to me to be mostly made out of a, a, a metal alloy of some sort, apart from the, the end plate over here, which is, which is plastic, which is a little bit of a shame, but on the whole, it, it looks really nice and classy. Uh, the mechanism itself is really nice and smooth. Um, there are no sort of, there are no um, points that stick or any free movement or anything like that. And I really like the, uh, the deeply grooved uh, track on the, on the top here, which obviously adds to the amount of grip. You know, for the most part, this is not going to be that important. But, you know, in winter when you're wearing thick gloves or something like that, you know, small differences like this can just make a difference in, in, the, in the fact that how, you know, accurately and easily you can, you can focus your binocular. 
to take the focus on these Isons backs from you know the extremes of, of near focus all the way up to infinity takes one and three quarter turns of the focus wheel. Now this mechanism, um, I would describe this mechanism as being sort of neutral in, in terms of its gearing, um, which means you get a nice sort of compromise between the speed at which you can make really large adjustments, um, you know, the amount of turning you have to make versus um, how easy it is to make really fine adjustments to get your um, the, the focus spot on. Adjusting the diopter setting is um, pretty typical for most full-size binoculars in that it's positioned on the uh, just under the right eyepiece over here um, and you just simply turn this ring uh, to, to, change the, to change the focus um, independently of the right eye and um, the right barrel versus the left barrel. Um, the one slight change compared to most binoculars is the actual um, central point or the markings on the binocular um, on the top of the binocular as opposed to on the underneath. But other than that it, it works um, as most do. It's, it's not lockable um, like some of the better ones are. However, there is enough sort of friction towards movement here over here, you know, so that it shouldn't turn too easily by accident, and thus your your setting um, won't be moved, you know, should you not want it to too easily. These Eisenbeck Trophy um, D 8x42 ED binoculars are tripod adaptable, and by that I mean this front tab over here can be quite easily unscrewed, as you can see that reveals a, uh, a recess over there um, and the threading in that is the same size as, as most standard as you get with most standard uh, tripod adapters and you simply just screw the tripod adapter into there um, which in turn will attach to the head of your tripod. These Isenbacks have a, a really nice feel to them. They, to me they, they feel nice and balanced um, and sit nicely within your hands. Uh, the actual focus wheel is nice and easy to, to reach and all in all, they, it really does look like a classy instrument. Uh, the rubber armor uh, um, that you get on it over here is, is, is reasonably thick. You know, I have seen thicker before. Um, however, it is, um, as you can see, really smooth. Now, um, and quite hard. So being, being hard and smooth means that the surface is, is perhaps not as, as grippy as you get on, on the softer, more textured rubbers. And the other slight disadvantage of this is I don't know if you can see in the sun with a hard shiny surface like this you do you do get more reflections coming off it which you know if you're trying to be as stealthy as possible you know or remain hidden or whatever um, you know this is probably as less camouflage than say a you know a dull green instrument with you know a really soft rubber armoring on it or you know or even camouflage colors. I really like the next trap that comes included with these Isenbachs as you can see uh, it's really nicely padded, thickly padded over here, um, and underneath the uh, neoprene sort of material over here is is deeply etched or and, and contoured, and so that it'll it'll it has a you know a really good grip level to it, and will stick to the you know the, the, the your neck and shoulders, and, and, and means that your binoculars won't slide around around your neck as much as a, a smooth neck strap does. The connectors over here, as you can see, are, are sort of a, a fake leather or a leatherette type thing. The stitching on the hole is pretty good. There's a little bit over there, but you know, on the, on the hole, I don't think this will come away um, or break away too easily. A feature that I really like about these, and, and I'm seeing more and more on binoculars, is um, whilst they attach the binocular in the usual way, you know, through, through the sides of these, um, on the sides of the binocular over here, and back on themselves with a slider, so you can adjust the length. Um, what they also have is a, you know, a quick release clip, so you can remove the main section of the next strap away from the binoculars quite quickly. Um, a sl slight oversight that I think that, that Eisenbach um, have, have missed here is that they've created the clips, um, both the clips that come away are, the, are you know, as over here, are the, are the female section, so um, you can't clip them together. I mean, on some binoculars, one side will be a, a male and, and on the other side would be a female. And then what, what, what the great thing with that is once you've unclipped it from the main part of the neck strap, you can then clip these two sections together um, and have a, a little hand strap over there. The included carry case um, that you get with these Isenbacks uh, looks to be extremely well made. Um, as you can see it's a soft um, case but has plenty of padding on it um, and will protect your optics far better than the most of the cases, soft cases that I, I see around. Uh, 
to gain entry to the, the actual case itself um, you have a, this quick release clip over here that flips open the lid but on top of that you have it, it, it's zip close now um, this makes for one of the most sort of secure um, cases that I've, I've come across in that you've got two two sort of barriers to entry which makes it secure as I said but on the downside um, it will take you longer to get to your actual binoculars which if you're in the field and you you need to you know quickly get to your binoculars because a, a bird that you, is about to fly away can be an issue however having said that you could I guess out in the field um, once your binoculars are inside like that um, rather than zipping it up if you know you're going to be using your binoculars often you know just put the clip over like that and then your the access to binoculars is, is, is really quick and easy and then once you get back home and you're storing your binoculars away in the cupboard or something that's when you zip it up other than that uh, as I said there's, there's loads of padding I do like the fact it comes with extra pockets one over here um, as well as one on the front great places for keeping things like the included cleaning cloth you know or perhaps when you're not using your lens covers or whatever uh, you could you could pop them in there so there's plenty of room for that with the small one over on the top pretty good for putting your car keys or some money or something when you're out in the field the case also comes with its own strap let me just find this one away see over here it has a strap um, which is curved so it fits nicely over your shoulders or your neck it's not as padded as the neck strap but still plenty of padding there to make it reasonably comfortable I do like the fact that it comes with quick release clips which many don't and so you can actually take the strap off completely like so Oops. and then um, with this included belt strap you could actually thread your thread the case through your belt and, and carry it on your hip uh, one thing that, that is nice to point out as well, this belt strap isn't just a loop in the fact that you can actually open it as a clip and a piece of Velcro. You can open it and thus uh, attach it to your belt with your belt um, actually around your body. You know, most ones are a simple loop, so you have to actually th take your belt off and thread it through first. So it's a small thing, but you know, again, all these little things add up. All in all, a nice, a really nice case. Um, and as you can see, the, the binoculars themselves fit really nicely within it you know there's there's enough room for it to make taking in and out nice and easy also included with these Eisenbach binoculars is a simple specifications chart uh, listing you know the basic uh, main specifications of these binoculars in a number of different languages you also get um, a very basic user manual um, it may look like there's quite a few pages here but it's in a number of different languages and so pretty much all you get is one page per language which uh, is for my eyes a bit too basic and they could have done better over here uh, what is really good is the 10 year guarantee the Eisenbeck, um I think it's a guarantee plus they call it um, and basically it's a solid guarantee and should anything go wrong with these binoculars um, you would be able to exchange them or get them repaired these also come with a fairly basic cleaning cloth um, whilst it's reasonably good quality um, I would still suggest that um, and, and they'll be fine for things you know using out in the field on emergency use or uh, for cleaning the body of the actual um, optics themselves uh, the instrument itself um, for cleaning of the, the optics the thorough cleaning of them I would still suggest that you invest in yourself in a proper lens cleaning kit just to make sure that you don't damage any of the, the coatings on the lenses or anything like that that concludes our short video of, of some of the external features on these Eisenbach Trophy D 8x42ED binoculars. As I mentioned in the start, um, this video is designed to be um, viewed in, in conjunction with the full review. Um, the link to which you can find here on the video, or if not, if you're viewing the video through your mobile or something, take a look in the comment section below and there's a link through to the full review. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time.